The broken spine has the most extensive collection of bloodsucker lit this side of the Carpathian Mountains. Huh. There must be something in here that will tell us why a vampire would want a painting and an organ. Hmm? Hello? Is someone there? Oops. like this shelf. Oh, for crying out loud. Who are you? The answers you seek are inside. But wait, who are you? There's nothing in any of these books about a painting or an orchid. I guess we hit a dead end. More like an undead end. Guys, I think I found what we're looking for. It's an old Halloween issue of Celebrities Weekly, and on page 128 is... Countess Hagula's Youth Juice. Four essential ingredients, and eternal youth can be all yours. But this is just a stupid Halloween prank. Looks like someone didn't get the joke. Check out the first two ingredients. The pigment from our stolen painting, and the pollen of a star orchid. This is it. Our vampire must be trying to make some youth juice. Good work, Daphne. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like nice call, Velma, on coming here. Too little, too late. If we want to know where the vampire is going to strike next, we just need to check the recipe. Then we can get there first and trap her in a trap. Look, Dino. A Chateau La Rouge Crimson Ruby Rosé Bordeaux 1911. There's only one restaurant in town that has a wine list extensive enough to include that vintage. The Crab Net of Dr. Calamari. Dr. Calamari's has a very strict dress code. If we're going to get in, we'll have to look the part. I think it's time for you to leave, Sheriff. Now, Mrs. Blake, all I did was suggest that you're dressing up like a she-vamp and stealing random objects. No reason to get all bad about it. Mom? What's going on? The Sheriff thinks I have something to do with these vampire attacks. Thank goodness Sheila was here. <laughs> Oh, Nan, don't you worry your flawlessly skin, perfectly quaffed head about this. It's just a misunderstanding. My mom is not behind this. We have to clear her name. Guys, let's go to dinner. <laughs> Welcome to the crab net of Dr. Calamari. Bonsoir. Uh, my chums and I would like your finest table. <laughs>